Welcome to I Am Your Target Demographic. This week we're looking at the event South by Southwest, which is written as SXSW for shorthand. I call this an event because it's partially a music festival, partially a film festival, partially a conference with speakers and guests, and partially an exhibit hall for people with unique and interesting ideas to share with the world. These things are separated into three events that happen at somewhat overlapping times called South by Southwest Music, South by Southwest Film, and South by Southwest Interactive, lasting almost two weeks. Let's start at the beginning. The first South by Southwest was held in 1987 in Austin, Texas, where it still continues to be held. It began as primarily a music festival and immediately filled a capacity. They moved to the Austin Convention Center, though the event overflows into much of downtown Austin for those days. The music branch of the event has exploded to about 2,000 unique acts and over 25,000 attendees each year. Some highlights from the music festival. In 1994, the three Hanson brothers were brought to South by Southwest to perform and were eventually signed to Mercury Records following their performance there. In the early 2000s, both James Blunt and John Mayer were discovered at small South by Southwest shows as well. Also in 1994, the film branch of South by Southwest began. The film conference includes speakers and interviews as well as movie screenings, which could include debuts of large studio pictures or screenings of small, more independent movies. In 2015, the social dating app Tinder was used to promote the science fiction film Ex Machina, by creating fake accounts for the film's female lead, Ava. Bundled with the film conference used to be something called South by Southwest Multimedia, which is now branched off and become South by Southwest Interactive, a place for upcoming technology and innovative ideas to be shared. Speakers for this event include high-profile guests like Mark Zuckerberg and even Barack Obama, who discuss the possibilities for technology to benefit the world. If you want an insight into what new apps and what new technologies to look out for, South by Southwest Interactive is the place to be. Now if you wanted to go to South by Southwest, you can either buy an individual badge for one of the three conferences, a gold badge for Film Plus Interactive, or a platinum badge for all three. If you buy at an early bird price, a platinum badge for nearly two weeks of content is almost $1,500, not counting food and lodging. Comedian Fred Armisen of Saturday Night Live and Portlandia fame made his big break when he created a video about South by Southwest in 1998, where he would interview guests throughout the conference as various fake personalities. This video undoubtedly caught some attention and may have even led to his audition with SNL in 2002. On the downside, South by Southwest unfortunately made the news in 2014 when a drunk driver attempting to escape a police officer drove through barricades and into a crowded street. Four people were killed from this incident, and the driver is now serving life in prison. This incident brought up larger questions of crowd control and if this event has outgrown the city's means to control it. So that's basically it. A quick snapshot of what South by Southwest is, what happens there, and how much attending something like that might cost. Be sure to check back here every Wednesday for a new What Is video, and thanks for watching.